<laughs> I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to, to join us here on Polk Place. And if there's puppies in the building and, uh, and they're on TV, must mean a visit from the Polk County Bully Project. And joining us in studio is uh, Michelle and Liz from the Polk County Bully Project. How are you girls doing today? Doing great. How are you? Yeah, I see. I see. We have guests in the house. Uh, I so all three of them together. Simon Alvador, no, Simon Alvin and Theodore. And who's who? So, th this is Alvin. Yeah. This is Simon, and you have Theodore chewing on your beard over there. Yeah, I must say, uh, of the three, I have the mellowest one. You do. Simon here is probably the most rambunctious today anyway, but Alvin's yeah, coming in a close second right now. I, I, I like the word energetic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's he's got to match the owner's, uh, he's got to match the owner's energy, so he's energetic. Yes. <laughs> and he's like, his fingers taste like milk bones. <laughs> <laughs> so delicious. Yeah. So I hear you got new digs. We do. We yeah. Um, tell me all about it. So we recently moved the beginning of the year into our new facility over off of Brandon Road West. Um, so much bigger, so much nicer than where we were. Um, we currently have about 80 dogs in our shelter, so it almost doubled our capacity as well. Uh, but we are working to raise money for them um, to get the full unit air conditioned because right now we are still missing it in our warehouse and it's about to get real hot for our yeah. little babies. So that is currently what we're out raising money for right now. So... I tell you what, let's back up a little bit. And for those, I mean, I started following you guys on Facebook, then I, I begged you guys to come in once, and then again, and then again, and then again. <laughs> but the Polk County Bully Project, what exactly is it? So we are a 5013C nonprofit organization that is really focused on ending breed discrimination for the bully breeds, such as pit bulls. Um, we do a lot of fundraising and rescuing some dogs from yeah. animal control. Um, we really want to make Polk County no kill. Yep. How did you ladies get? How did you ladies get involved? Um, I got involved honestly just by walking dogs. Um, used to I've always loved dogs, and I used to donate to animal control, and I'd bawl my eyes out all the time seeing all the dogs there that were going to be put down. And um, I came across the Bully Project on Facebook one day and volunteered to walk dogs and. I fell in love and ever since I've been doing everything I can to help raise money and get these guys into some great homes. <laughs> Liz, how about you? How did you get involved? So Michelle actually introduced me to the Bully Project after she started walking them. So I started walking dogs also and it just became a passion to try to help the dogs of Polk County as much as we could. So one thing that you guys had talked about, uh, always, always a need for raising funds. You guys got a couple events coming up. Uh, one, I'm definitely gonna have to hit, uh, Pit Bulls and Pints. Let's talk a little bit about that. So the fourth Thursday of every month, we do Pit Bulls and Pints at Yard on Mass from 6 to 9 p.m. And we have merchandise out there. We bring some of our adoptable pups um, and we get a dollar per pint for everybody that comes out. And how long does that go on? It's 6 to 9 p.m. and so far it's we're we have it booked out for every month. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and then also on the 24th Brew Hub Night at Market. What exactly is that? So that's the uh, Brew Hub Night Market out at um, Brew Hub. They do a vendor market the fourth Friday or the third Friday of every month. This month it's the fourth because of St. Patrick's Day. But uh, it's a bunch of vendors go out there. Um, you can go try some of their great beers, walk around, see all the vendors. And we bring our dogs and our merchandise out. It's a great venue for us because there's plenty of room to bring puppies out there or dogs. And um, get to meet them, see what we're all about. And finally, on the 25th, swap and adopt at Harley Davidson of Lakeland. Now that sounds like a great, great, great event. What exactly is that? So that, um, that's actually a new one. The first time we're doing that with Harley Davidson of Lakeland, um, our friends at TLC Pet Snip actually helped set this up. So it's a multi-rescue event that's gonna be out there. Um, I believe there's four other rescues, including us, that are gonna be out at Harley set up. They're gonna have um, some food out there, some music, and all the rescues are going to be working together to try to get a get some dogs saved because even if it doesn't come from our rescue, a life saved is a life saved. Exactly. 
um, with it being spring training, something very cool. You guys uh, working Tiger Games. How's that? How's that going to go down? So we will be set up on the first base grab and go side, and we go and we work the games and we get a percentage of all the sales. Now that is very cool. Um, so we're working air conditioning. What other things do you guys need funding wise? Talk, talk to me a little bit about uh, how else can folks help you either by funding or by becoming, uh, you know, uh, temporary parents. <laughs> we are, uh, to, both are great needs for us. I mean, we always need funding. We take it, um, so many dogs, so many medical cases. We have quite a few awaiting surgery right now. Uh, so we're always raising money for those just along with our facility needs. But, but a, a huge need we need is um, volunteers and fosters. Uh, volunteering can be as simple as helping at a concession. It can be coming in doing laundry for us. It can be sitting in a room and playing with these little razor teeth babies for a couple <laughs> hours. Uh, it can be walking our dogs in the shelter. If, if you want to volunteer, we'll find a way to help to get you to help. And then um, foster parents. Um, it's not the most ideal for these puppies to grow up in a rescue. They'd be so much better in a home, but currently these three are with their mom at our facility right now. Um, so fosters, you provide the home and the love. We provide the food, the vetting, everything else you need, and it really gives our puppies the best chance to, to get a great home if we can get them into foster. Exactly, and how, if somebody's interested in Simon, Alvin, or Theodore, how would they go about adopting them? So you can, uh, easiest way is to go on our Facebook page and you can find all of our links off of there on our link tree. Uh, these guys are seven weeks old right now, so they are available for adoption in about one more week, uh, but they can go into foster at any time. Them and their mom, Natalia, are looking for a great home. All right. Hopefully, if you can help them out, they need a home. Um, the Bully Project needs your help uh, in, in fundraising and foster parents. Whatever you can do, this is a worthwhile cause, Polk County. These, these ladies do a fantastic job, and these puppies are so much fun. <laughs> Liz and Michelle, I want to thank you for joining me. And please come back anytime you, anytime. Did you see, did you see the office light up as soon as you guys came in? I know, they were <laughs> You guys come back and see me again soon, will you please? We will. All right, thank, thank you. you. Thanks. Polk County Bully Project is a foster-based nonprofit 501c3 rescue organization that works to find forever homes for this misunderstood breed. Through local adoption and rescue partnerships, they are giving these dogs their chance at a happily ever after. They're dedicated to their goal of reducing euthanasia rates of these dogs in Polk County. Currently, dogs deemed pit bull are rescue only. Through education and practical care, they're changing the stigma that surrounds the pit bull and providing great care. Spay and neuter is a huge part of what they do. Uh, now, if you need more information on anything that the Polk County Bully Project does, look them up on the web at polkcountybullyproject.org or follow them on Facebook. Make sure you look for them and help them out. Simon's like, Simon's like, I'm not the bad one anymore. He's like, let me be free. Keeping them entertained. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> what are you doing, babies? He's got his ear. What you doing? What you doing? Oh, come here. Hey. All right. Hi, buddy. What you gotta do? You gotta tell him. Tell him. Hey. Say he you really have brothers is. and <laughs> sisters, and you have family members, and there are other puppies that are waiting to be adopted. Through the pimp. Let me know when we're ready. All right. Can we do this? Are you? Are you? Hey, can we do this? <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. All right. 